Really excited today to show you guys what is inside of this case right here. If you've ever wanted to put yourself into your content or on your streams with having the background completely cut out so your face cam is just sitting right on top of your gameplay, just like other top YouTubers or streamers that are out there, the Elgato green screen is what you need. In fact, this guy, and I'm gonna open this up just to show you all, it's a little peek, a little peek, is a collapsible green screen. It's the best one on the market. And we partnered with Elgato to bring you guys a series of videos all about leveling up your content. The green screen comes packed away in a sleek and slim case design. There are feet on the bottom that you rotate out for balance and support. And then it's super easy just to pull it up and set it to your desired height. You can pull it all the way up or even leave it halfway down, depending on what size you need with your setup. So we'll take this guy over to one of our streaming stations and I'm gonna show you guys how to set up the Elgato green screen with your streaming software. Outside of the green screen, there's two more things that you need to pick up to complete your setup. One of those is a webcam. We recommend the C920 or the Logitech Brio. I've got the Brio set up right here. The other side of it is lighting. Lighting will make or break your green screen setup. We recommend the Elgato key lights. I've got two of them set up, one to my right, one to my left. They're both pointing at the green screen. A well-lit green screen is gonna be a lot easier to remove in your streaming software. So if we hop into Streamlabs, the first thing that we need to do is add our webcam. We're gonna hit the plus, go down to video capture device, add source. We're gonna add a new source. I'm gonna name this one webcam, click add source. And then what I need to do on device is just find that Logitech Brio setup. Now one little resolution FPS adjustment I make here is uh, instead of device default, I go ahead and go down to custom and make sure the resolution is 1920 by 1080. After that, I'll hit done and here's our webcam. So we see we have the green screen behind us. I'm relatively centered on it. We need to add a filter to our webcam to be able to knock out the green screen. So I'm gonna right click on that source and go to filters. Inside of filters, we need to click the plus to add a filter and select the filter chroma key. You might have to scroll down a little bit to find it, but once you have it, you can hit done. Now the first default color type is green. So that actually works right off the bat. Once we do that, we have a couple of key adjustments here that we need to look at. Similarity, smoothness, and key color spill. Similarity is gonna knock out similar colors to your green. But if you go too far, it's gonna actually end up knocking out everything in your picture. So you wanna to try to find the sweet spot for your lighting setup with similarity, with smoothness, and with the color spill. The color spill is gonna sort of remove some of the green that's coming into your clothing or into your hair. And then the smoothness is just gonna affect that sort of outline shape, the silhouette that you're making. We're gonna leave contrast brightness and gamma as default because we're gonna actually add a color correction to this to fix some of those. Once we hit done, we've officially knocked us out and now you see the game behind us. But there's a little extra here. You see, I still see what's behind me in my room here. So I need to crop my webcam in order to only see the green screen and the game. I'm gonna hold Alt and just hover over the right side of my webcam and pull this in until I only see the gameplay. I'm gonna do the same thing on the left side. Pull that in until I only see the gameplay. And then I'm gonna let go of Alt and actually just come up to the right hand corner and bring this down. I'm gonna resize myself here something like that, and I'm gonna put me in the lower left-hand corner. That way, anything that is over here and crosses out of the bounds actually looks like you're just going outside your stream, and then you need to try to keep yourself inside of this bounding box right here so that you don't cut off too much. So you don't wanna be sitting like this, right? So once you've got yourself in the game, you can kinda of look at some of what's going on around the edge of your silhouette. Uh, and you can go back in and sort of tweak some of those settings to get it perfect. It's gonna be completely different for everyone depending on your lighting setup. The last thing that I would add is a little color correction. So we can right click on webcam again, go to filters, and then over here on the left, we can add another filter. In this case, we can find color correction hit done. And what I would do is add a little bit of contrast to this 
and then maybe take the brightness down a little bit as well. That's just gonna help your webcam look a lot better and help the color look a lot better. And that's pretty much it. That's all it takes to set up your green screen with your webcam and Streamlabs or whatever your streaming software is. Hope this video helped you guys out with your streaming setup or at least gave you a little more information about the Elgato green screen. It's literally the best green screen on the market. There's nothing to compare to it. It's completely mobile, so easy to use, comes completely assembled out of the box. If you guys wanna go check them out for yourself, we left links in the description. Go read up on it on the website or just watch this video again, right? Thanks for watching, you guys. Hope you have a great day from everyone here at Pacers Gaming. We'll see you next time.